Hey there guys, kicking off my ASL Mouse Mechanics playlist with some kinematics. So here we are looking at questions involving constant acceleration and using Suvat equations. Let's go! To help with these questions, I've put all of the Suvat equations on a page. So if you download the questions, you get this page too. Don't worry about memorizing them because we are all given them in our formula booklets in the exams. Okay then, first up, so here we are using G as 9.8. So a ball initially at rest is dropped from a height of 40 meters. We want to calculate the speed of the ball when it hits the ground. Now, for this, we could use a bit of common sense. I'll explain how after doing it properly. So, what do we know? Well, we know it's displacement. So, S. Now, if we take up as positive and down as negative, S is minus 40. The ball is initially at rest, so U is zero. We want V. And A is minus 9.8. Okay, so the guy we want is v squared is u squared add to a s so u squared is just zero so v squared is two times Minus 9.8 times minus 40 Now that gives us 784 So if we square root that V is 28. For the common sense approach, first of all, speed cannot be negative. Velocity can, speed can't. So it can't be the two negatives. And 780 meters per second is faster than the speed of sound. So there's no way the ball is going that fast. So again, it would be 28 meters per second. Okay, number two, a ball is moving in a straight line between the two fixed points A and B, which are 0 0.5 meters apart. Uh, the ball is moving with constant acceleration of 0 0.39 meters per second squared. The speed of the ball at A is 1.9 meters per second. We want to find the speed of the ball at B. Okay, so we know S. is 0 0.5 U is 1.9 We want V and we know A is 0 0.39 So again we can use V squared is U squared add 
to a S. So we're going to get V squared is 1.9 squared add 2 times 0 0.39 times 0 0.5 Now that gives us V squared is 4 So V is 2 So the speed of the ball at B is 2 meters per second Okay, number three, a man throws a tennis ball into the air so that when it leaves his hand, it's two meters above the ground and moving vertically upwards with a speed of nine meters per second. The motion of the ball is modeled as that of a particle moving freely under gravity and the acceleration Choose gravity is modelled with constant magnitude of 10 meters per second squared. The ball hits the ground t seconds after leaving the man's hand. We want to calculate t. Alright, what do we know? So it starts 2 meters above the ground, so s is going to be minus 2. The reason it's negative is because it's ending lower than where it started. We know that u is 9. We don't know or care about v. We know that a is acting downwards, so it's minus 10. And T is T. Okay, so the one we can use here is S is UT add one half AT squared. All right. So, let's put in what we know, so we know we get minus 2 is 9t add 1 half times um, minus 10 times t squared. So 1 half times minus 10 is minus 5. So we get minus 5t squared. Okay, now it's quadratic. We need everything on the same side. So I'm going to move both things to the left. So we are going to get 5t squared. Minus 9t minus 2 is equal to 2 uh, 0, sorry now we can factorise this 2 well if we put a minus 2 in with a t that well, multiplies 5t to give us minus 10t and then stick a plus 1 in that. Now, this gives us two possible solutions. 
So, the first bucket tells us 5t and 1 is equal to 0. Now that would tell us t is minus 1 fifth. But t is time. Time cannot be negative. So that is invalid. Now the other one tells us t equals 2. And that's it. Boom. Okay, next up, a nice 7 marker. So a car is moving along a straight horizontal road with constant acceleration. There are three points on the road, A, B and C, where A, B is 22 metres and B, C is 104 metres. The car takes two seconds to get from A to B and four seconds to get from B to C. Our job is to find the acceleration of the car and the speed of the car at A. Okay, so we have two unknowns. Now we have a technique for finding two unknowns that's simultaneous equations. So, can we derive two simultaneous equations? Well, Let's think about A to B first of all. Okay, so we know S is 22. We don't know U, but we are interested in U. So let's say U is capital U. We don't know or care about V. Uh, we don't know A, but we do want it. So let's say A is capital A. And we know T is 2. So, from that, we could use um, S is UT and 1 half AT squared. Before we do that though, let's think about what or another equation we could get in terms of the same initial velocity and the same acceleration. So the way we're going to do that is think about the whole journey. So A to C. So for A to C then, we know the displacement is 22 add 104. So that's 126. Now, u is again u. a is again a. And this time, t is 6. Okay, so for each of these, we can now use s is ut add one half eighty squared. So for the first one we get twenty two is equal to two U add now one half times A times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 
half of four is two. So we have two A. Okay, let's call that equation one. And then for the next one, uh, S is 126. Now that is equal to 6U. Add 1 half times A times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, half of that is 18, so we get 18a. Let's call that number 2. Okay, so, the question asked for the acceleration first, which probably means that's what we should do first. So, to do that we need to eliminate u. So, we are going to need to multiply equation 1 by 3. So that's going to give us 66. is 6u add 6a. Let's call that number 3. Okay, then now we can get rid of the u's. So I'm going to do 2 take 3. Now that's going to give me 60 is equal to 12a. So divide by 12 we get a is 5 meters per second squared. Okay, now that we know A, put that into one of the equations to get U. So I'm going to put it into number 1. So now we know 22 is equal to 2U add 10. So, 2u is 12. And then divide by 2, and we get u is 6 meters per second. It's very important that you include the units of your answer. Otherwise, it doesn't mean anything. Cool. Okay then guys, that's it for this one. I really hope it's helped. Let me know what you want to see next. For now, take it easy. Take care.